Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another episode where we focus on the human impact of AI. And great story today, amazing story along those lines. Sorry, bad allergies. AI tech leads to NASA energy breakthrough. Now, I found this article by accident because I haven't been able to read all the stuff on NASA.com, and they completely changed their website, by the way. It's pretty epic. But I found this on oilprice.com because for work, I was trying to get a handle on why these recent changes in oil prices. So the headlines are, NASA and energy startup ADC Energy presented a breakthrough validation of a new form of energy that does away with conventional AC-DC power conversion. This is huge news, people, as you'll see in a quote in a second. Scientists have lately been making major breakthroughs that could dramatically lower power transmission losses. We'll talk about what that means later in the video. The discovery by ADC could lead to power grids that are capable of transmitting power seamlessly saving up to millions of megawatt hours that are currently lost to resistance during transmission. So this is huge stuff. Let's get into it. NASA and energy startup ADC Energy have jointly published a breakthrough validation of a new form of energy that does away with conventional AC-DC power conversion. So just to highlight a little bit about what that means. AC power is what runs your home, alternating current. DC power is used in your car, direct power from the battery. The two parties have been researching alternating direct current, ADC, for five years, an AI-enabled energy technology that makes lossless power transmission possible said Terry Boston, special advisor to the White House and the Congress of the United States, ADC is the greatest innovation I've seen in my 50-year career. The conclusions confirm that ADC is a historical paradigm shift, and most important, ADC is ready to provide innovative solutions to our global climate and energy crisis. This is a revolution at the levels of Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla. ADC has solutions ready right now, and there are substantial opportunities in the near term for breakthroughs such as low-voltage quick EV charging, expanded solar power generation, and off-grid indoor agriculture, meaning no need for external power sources to make indoor ag work. Huge. The paper notes that the current global energy platform operates on only alternating current and direct current invented by Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison more than a hundred years ago. The joint research paper has now validated ADC as a new hybrid form of energy where both AC and DC operate on the same existing transmission wires, thus eliminating the need for wasteful and dangerous energy conversion between AC and DC. According to Lee, the CEO of ADC, the ultimate evolution of ADC is a hybrid utility grid operating on existing wires. This could dramatically lower power transmission losses. Separately, <laughs> Back in March, scientists made a once-in-a-century breakthrough, so that's two once-in-a-hundred-year breakthroughs, after researchers created a superconducting material that works at a temperature and pressure low enough that can not only make our power grids much more efficient, but can also be used in everyday applications. Think cell phone, laptop, um, cars, everything. The scientists created a new superconducting material by combining a silvery white dense metal called lutetium, lutetium with hydrogen and nitrogen. 
They discovered the new material behaves like a superconductor at temperatures as high as 70 degrees Fahrenheit when heated and compressed at a pressure of about 10,000 bar. If validated, the possibilities here are really exciting. We could magnetically levitate trains above superconducting rails, change the way electricity is stored and transferred, and revolutionize medical imaging. The U.S. grid loses about 5% of all the electricity generated during transmission, translating into consumers paying six billion a year in higher energy bills. So this is a six billion annual savings opportunity on power generation and transmission alone. The 10,000 bar pressure is within a range where engineers can jump on and make a commercially viable product, said Stanley Tozer, a physicist at Florida State University. So what is superconductivity? Electrical superconductivity was first discovered more than a century ago. Scientists found that mercury that is cooled to nearly absolute zero, minus 452 degrees Fahrenheit, exhibited no resistance to the flow of electricity, whereas the new one can work at up to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. They also discovered that superconductors expel magnetic fields, thus allowing magnets to levitate over them. That's where the levitating rail system comes in. Since then, researchers have graveled, grappled with the challenge of creating a superconductor that works at temperatures and pressures low enough to be of use in real-life practical applications. The discovery by Diaz and his team could lead to power grids that are capable of transmitting power seamlessly with no loss, saving up to millions of megawatt hours. Another perk, the new material could also contribute to nuclear fusion with the world in an arms race to make fusion power a reality for the first time ever. Happening right now, look for a segment next week on that. Diaz Superconductor is not the first to work at room temperatures, though. In 2015, scientists created a material that acts as a superconductor that works at a very agreeable 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Unfortunately, it required crazy pressure, about half that of Earth's core. So what does this mean? This is a massive, massive breakthrough. And coupled with fusion, the entire energy picture of the world, wholly separately from the decentralized grid battery storage, solar and wind generation power revolution is coming. This is unlimited, cheap electricity for everyone on the planet coming with zero waste and emissions. This is truly an astounding series of breakthroughs, courtesy of AI in this case. So thanks so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share. We're at 958. Please, folks, subscribe. Get us over that thousand mark. Also, please click the link below for your free resource because you're going to have to use AI at work by next year, 2024. So do it now. Thanks. Take care. See you next time. Bye.